Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love y'all. Shout out to everyone that has liked, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for the super thanks, okay? Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. And shout out to Maj, you guys. I'm going to use the Chosen Ones Oracle. I use this a lot. Um, but shout out to Maj, the High Priestess. Y'all can go over and check out her channel because your girl is dope, okay? <laughs> She's dope. Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. You will regret messing with the chosen one, period. The first card out, guys. And look at the bottom. Judgment day for your enemies, okay? Wow. We gonna keep it at... we. I'm not even pulling no more, okay? You will regret messing with the chosen one. I'm hearing that, um, <laughs> I say this oftentimes when, um, you know, the enemy card come out, you know, I'm hearing that Remy Ma, uh, I got enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. Yeah. They trying to drain you of your energy collective. Okay. But again, um, something is about to transpire. I'm trying to figure out which which deck I'm about to use to clarify. Should I use this deck? Yeah, I'm going to use this deck. Wow, Judgment Day Collective. <laughs> they finna have to answer your enemies, Collective. Have to answer to the maker, okay? Judgment Day. Somebody done got in some shit that they can't get out of. Your enemies collective have gotten into something that they cannot get out of. Nobody can save them. Ain't no help coming. Wow, this is, this is, uh, let me say this really quick. This is taking me back to, um... What's the name? Leave the world behind. I'm going to get ready to drop. I don't know if I'm going to do an ebook. I don't know if I'm going to do a video, but I decoded the movie. And when I tell you so many prophetic messages I received as I began to watch the movie, which led to me, I had to grab a pen and a paper. <laughs> I'm talking about the information was just coming, okay? But it goes hand in hand with this. You will regret messing with the chosen one. Uh, see, when people do shit, they feel like they done got away with some because, uh, you know, they they haven't been judged that day or the next day or tomorrow, but it but your day will come when you mess with the chosen one. And, I, and look, under surveillance is here. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm I'm gonna go back and find the video because let me find out. We we um uh we we tapped into that um how do I say this name? I don't want to get no. We tapped into the uh, brother love situation. You know what I'm saying? Some months back, I spoke on something about New York and raids taking place and some other things. I'm going I'm to go back, okay? But we seeing uh, under surveillance here, okay? With gang stalking you. Wow, so these, there are people that are gang stalking you, right? 
they gang stalking you because it's they're they're trying to pull off some type of smear campaign. They trying to drag your name through the mud. They trying to find some type of dirt on you. They trying to they trying to you know be all up in your business collective. But little do they know they are under surveillance by the Most High God. They are these people gang stalking you are under surveillance collective by your spiritual team. Again, God sit high and look low. God don't miss nothing. God don't miss anything. So this is crazy. They watching you, but they're being watched in a higher realm. Make that make sense, collective. They listen. This is why you gotta be careful, baby. You gotta be careful. Big payout is here. God is finna reimburse somebody, okay? For somebody, you finna be be reimbursed, okay? There is some type of divine gift. Uh, that's coming your way. For some of y'all, God finna move you. You need to move. When you get this payout, you need to move. Or you're gonna receive this payout. It's gonna be contingent upon you moving, okay? Wow, you will regret messing with the chosen one judgment day for your enemies what is this uh message about for the collective holy spirit wow inheritance is here this is dope inheritance is here for some of y'all this gonna be some type of ancestral uh inheritance this i'm, I'm even going back to we talked about me decoding um the message and leave the world behind the ancestors was coming back for their land. They was coming back for what's theirs. For somebody, this is some type of inheritance you're going to receive. There is a big payout. And whoever these people is that's gang stalking you, uh, again, you when, when it comes to you being gang stalked, right? When you gang stalk, you being watched by multiple people. There is somebody that is orchestrating the whole thing. Whoever these people are, it's, it's, it's politics involved behind this. Whoever these people are or this person is, they are intimidated by you. That's why they tiptoeing around you. That's exactly what gang stalkers do. These motherfuckers tiptoe around you. They intimidated by you. They already know what's up to be real. Wow, these these folks are under surveillance collective. They under surveillance and it's more than just by God or whoever it is that you worship, okay? But we talking about the most high God, okay? We talking about the God, the only the one and only God, okay? Your spirit team, your ancestors collective, the archangels Wow, Isaiah 55 and 11 is here. Wow, for somebody, you might be seeing 555, you might be seeing 1111. This says, so shall my word be that go, goeth forth out my mouth. It shall not return void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where I sent it. Y'all ain't hearing me with a divine appointment. God is sending a storm to your enemy. 
Isaiah and 55 and 11 says, what, what did I say? Collective. God said what, what the words that go out his mouth cannot return void. And it's going to accomplish. Okay. It shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. That means it's, it's, it's going to be successful wherever he sent it to. Whatever he say and wh whoever he sent it to is going to be successful. It's going to play out exactly how he call it. There is a divine appointment for your enemies collective. There is a divine appointment for these gang stalkers. Again, they are under surveillance. Wow, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. <laughs> wow, Callie Ma is here, okay? Callie Ma is here. If y'all don't know about Callie Ma, listen, do your research. This is the Indian goddess, though, or the Hindu goddess of death and destruction. Your enemies are already under spiritual attack right now. They under spiritual attack right now, collective. But Cali Moffin to hit them in the physical realm. Something is going to happen in the physical realm. And look how Cali Ma is falling under gang stalking you. These same people that's gang stalking you, death and destruction is being sent to them again. God's word cannot return void. It's finna, it's literally about to be their judgment day. They literally finna go see the maker with Cali Ma here. Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Give me some more messages. Morally corrupt this here. And I'm seeing karmic ex-husband or wife, okay? So for some of y'all, uh, one of these people that's involved in this gang stalking you, right? Is a karmic ex. They watching you or having you watched. They might have your devices hacked, okay? But these people are morally corrupt. They are morally corrupt. God is tired of these folks. These, this is the energy of, uh, what is that saying? Um, I might say this wrong, but y'all, <laughs> y'all gonna get the drift. What is the saying? Uh, uh, believe in something or fall for anything. That's what I'm getting. This is the energy of these people. They're morally corrupt. They don't believe in nothing. They fall for any damn thing. Look, something's ha something happens unexpectedly. Something happens unexpectedly, collective. Something is going to happen unexpectedly to your enemies. They are already under surveillance. They don't, they not even going to see it coming because again, they are already under attack in the spiritual realm.
See, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is why you do not put your hand in the pot collective. Don't even stir it. Don't even stir it. Sometimes it can get uh, aggravating. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it get tough when you are a spiritual person and you walk in your journey and people are always fucking with you. It can get tough, but again, this is just a test from God. Do you believe that he going to take care of it? Sometimes we got to learn to shut the hell up. Don't even say nothing to these folks. They ain't going to see this shit coming. They not going to see it coming, collective. Your spirit team already caught them slipping when they fuck with you. <laughs> wow, divine appointment is here. Again, it came out. Literally, it came out. Wow, collective. Wow, you will not believe what's behind it. A tragedy. Divine appointment with a tragedy here. And a tragedy is falling under who? Kalima. There will be a tragedy, okay? Something tragic is going to happen to your enemies. There is a destined time. A divine appointment. This is, what's the scripture, what's the biblical scripture? God already know what, the day and the hour, okay? The day and the hour is already set. Wow, and look at tragedy falling under Kalima and gang stalking you. Divine appointment. It's under your spiritual team, under surveillance and uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. About God's word not uh, returning void. It's something he already sent out. Something was already sent out. Something is already finna be accomplished. There is a divine appointment. Wow. Wow. Again, a tragedy. Something tragic is going to happen to your enemies, collective. These people, it's people gang stalking you. It's people watching your every move, collective. In the physical realm. Family hating is here. And I'm saying intimidated by you. For some of y'all, these enemies could be in your family or people that you are loyal to, people that you consider family. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. Wow. Show no love is here with South Node. Wow. Somebody finna get some karma. They got karma coming back to them. South Node is all about karma. If you know, you know, okay? And your spirit team ain't finna show no fucking love collective. Show no love. Wow. Wow. Don't beg for your life now. <laughs> Don't beg for your life now, okay? It's it's giving that. It's it's giving that. They can't they can't even beg for their life. And, and they ain't finna be shown no type of compassion. When 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 um uh, let me tell you something. When things like this happen, 
when God got to get involved, when your spirit team and your ancestors collective got to get involved, right? When tragedies happen, right? A lot of time, again, divine appointment. There are supernatural things that will happen. And it's like, for instance, they might be driving down the highway and get a blowout on their tire. Now they car done flipped 10, 10 times and they out of here. Any, I mean, anything can, can literally happen. But it's like, what's that movie? Um, what's that movie called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's on the tip of my tongue. Final Destination. Those type of things happen when your spirit team is in control. When your spirit team getting that get back, okay? Final dest some, some Final Destination type shit finna happen. Something to happen unexpectedly. You've been protected the entire time with cloak here. Look, cloak and chosen by the elite. For some of y'all, some um with this, wow, this is dope again, because this is this role right here is your spirit team. This is this karmic's energy here, right? So with this cloak, you again, you've been protected the entire time. The whole time they've been watching you, God been watching them. The whole time they've been plotting on you, your ancestors been plotting on them. The elite, the higher ups, okay, might be involved with some of this for somebody. They might be in charge of this gang stalking that's being done or that's taking place over you. The, the elite. What's the elite? This can be anybody in a high place. Anybody in a high place collective that have the power to have a tool to make this happen. This could be, uh, again, some type of connection to a significant industry. For some of y'all, okay, the elite wanted you out of here. The elite wanted you out of here. I'm also picking up for somebody. I'm also picking up for somebody here with this cloak and chosen by the elite. You have some type of elite pr protection, okay? Uh, I'm, or how do I say that? You, you, you have some type of, you're being protected by the elite. There is some type of protection that has been placed around you, not only in the spirit realm, but in the physical realm also. I'm seeing water sign here. Somebody could be a water sign that's connected to the elite that's helping protect you. I'm seeing Georgia here. It's falling under family hate and something could have happened in Georgia with family or for somebody you got family in Georgia. Secrets revealed is here at the bottom. Something happened in, in Georgia. Something happened in the state of Georgia. Something going to come to light. For some of y'all, okay, we know, everybody know Atlanta is in Georgia. That's like the, that's like the, uh, I mean, one of the main stations for the industry, Atlanta, especially the music industry. 
Somebody might be involved in the music industry. Or the elite tried to set you up in Georgia. But you was protected the entire time. Y'all heard my story. I gave y'all my testimony a while back about how I know 100% they tried to sex traffic me in Georgia after I left a meeting with an a &R. I went, I went to, I, I, I went back to the hotel after the meeting with an a &R. This was in downtown Atlanta. I went to, I, I went back to the hotel after the meeting and I told you I left my notepad in the car that I was writing my music with. So I'm like, oh shit, by the time I made it up to the floor, I'm like on the 19th floor or some shit, okay? I realized I did not have my writing pad. I need to go back to my vehicle and get it. And mind you, I I parked, um, I did valet parking. So I made it back downstairs to the front lobby and it was just some sh strange people in the lobby just that quick as I made it back downstairs. I wasn't even there 10 minutes. Just that quick, <clears throat> It was a U-Haul looking truck, not what well, I say looking truck because it was a U-Haul type box truck, right? But it was like painted over. You can see like it was it was a white truck, but it was like a rusty white truck. You could see the paint kind of like or words and letters kind of coming through the paint. That truck was parked in front of the um like um you know where you pull in to get your bags and shit when you first get to the hotel. You don't go and park yet. You just pull underneath the little thing. You know what I'm talking about. I go and ask for my keys and the man tell me my keys ain't where, the, ain't, ain't, ain't where they supposed to be at. They ain't got my keys, basically. He got to go and look for my keys. He got to go and see can he locate my keys. But my car was moved just that quick. The box truck was behind my car in, uh, you know, under the thing outside. But they pulled my car up so it was room for the box truck to fit in right behind me. The Holy Spirit told me right then, go get your stuff. Go get your stuff. So I made it back upstairs. My heart going a million miles an hour. Mind you, I was supposed to be there for three days, so I just packed everything that I could in one bag, in a book bag, everything that I wanted because I left a lot of things behind because I couldn't, I didn't have time to take everything with me. It wasn't supposed to look like I was leaving. It wasn't supposed to look like damn near that, okay, she ain't coming back because I may not have made it out the hotel. So when I made it back down to make a long story short, it was a different man that stepped out with my keys and he, he held my keys out in front of me, but he didn't hand them to me. And when he held them out to me, he, his question to me was, excuse me, ma'am, are you coming back tonight? But mind you, you work here. I'm in the system. So, you know, this is my first day here. I'm supposed to be here for three nights. So that was another red flag that went off. But I smiled and told him, yes, I'll be back. I just had packed, like I said, whatever I could in a book bag and that's it. But energy is energy. He felt my energy. He knew I wasn't coming back, but he wasn't sure. He didn't follow his intuition. Again, that happened in Georgia after I left a meeting with um, an A&R. Downtown Atlanta. That's why I don't give a fuck, bitch. You can call me crazy if you want. <clears throat> I know what I be talking about. <laughs> and I just looked down, it was 2929, which uh, two, and two plus nine is what? 11, 11, 11, something about 11, 11 could be significant. Angel number 111, okay? Spiritual attack is here. 
And then this, look, <laughs> this just fell in my lap. These two literally just fell in my lap out of harm's way and in music industry. Not only is this my confirmation years later, but for somebody, this your confirmation. God have you out of harm's way when it comes to dealing with the music industry, dealing with the elites. Look at all the crazy shit that's going on that's still coming out about Puff Daddy. He just one. He just one person. These people are energy vampires. These people are energy vampires collective. That's all right, because Cali Ma finna suck the life out they ass. Period. This was a dope reading again. Spiritual attack is here. What did I tell you? Your enemy is already under spiritual attack. They already under spiritual attack. Anybody that had any hand in this gang stalking, anybody that ever fucked with you collective is under spiritual attack. Anybody that ever plotted on you in a negative way is under spiritual attack. They under surveillance in the spirit realm. But there is a divine appointment. You've been protected the entire time. God got you out of harm's way. You've been cloaked. Wow, this is dope, guys. I think I'm gonna close out the reading here. Let's 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 close this energy out, okay? Because it just I got chills right now. Like literally, I got chills, okay? It's just bringing back memories, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm reliving a traumatic moment, like, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, but for some of y'all you know what I'm saying? You've you've experienced uh trauma. You've went through some traumatic uh events. This is why <laughs> this is why this shit is finna happen to these folks. Because the extent that they went to against a chosen one. You can't take me out because God got a plan for me. You can't send me off and sex traffic me because God have a plan for me. God said, so shall my word be that go forth out my mouth. It shall not return void. It shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. So you going to get it. Listen, collective. Okay. Whoever this message is for. You going to get from point to from point A to point B to point C to point D all the way to point Z till you reach your damn journey. However many points you got to go through to get there, you're going to go through each one successfully because when you on your journey, you doing God's work. When you connected with your God body, you tapped in. You doing God's work collective. So you have to prosper in the thing where God, what God sent you out in the world to do. These people can't come in and, 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 cut, and cut God plan short. He going to take their life before he let them take yours. Again, some of these people is caught up in some shit that they done wrote a check that they ass can't cash. And especially some of these people that's gang stalking you, right? They ain't got no clue. They they probably getting paid a little couple dollars. You know, people that's gang stalking, they little do boys and shit. You a do boy, you a do girl. You ain't got nothing better to do with, with life but let somebody use you to, to, to abuse somebody else, basically. Because that's what you're doing. This is, this is sad. This is just, this is pathetic. That's the perfect word. This shit pathetic collective. But they gonna learn today. They are going to learn today collective. Okay. 
So let's close out this energy really quick because we don't want this energy to linger on, okay? Not any, because uh, some of this energy is negative, okay? So we're going to close out this uh, energy real quick before we close out the reading. All right, guys, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? Thank you guys for watching.